Hey guys, it's Virginia the Buckeye Gamer and I am back uh, with another Yakuza themed video. So in this video, we're actually going to kind of briefly go over all of the games that we never got. Um, but there is one exception that I am going to uh, make for last. So um, I'm going to start off. Um, these games we technically did get, but not in this um, these particular forms. Um, so I'm going to first start off here with Yakuza 0. Now, obviously, we did get Yakuza 0 released here um, for the PlayStation 4. Um, but Japan also got it in a PlayStation 3 uh, release as well. So I thought this was pretty cool. Um, I've never personally tried it on the PS3. Um, but I have seen videos of PS3 recordings of it. And it actually looks decent. Like, really decent. Um, Yakuza 0 is one of my favorite games in the series. And one of my favorite games of all time. Um, so th this was definitely interesting. Um, it probably would not have sold very well on the PS3, at least stateside, because by the time it did get released here, the PS3 technically, you know, from a retail standpoint was pretty much dead. Um, there really wasn't being much produced for it, maybe some sports titles, but that was about it. Um, PS3 is not dead to me, obviously. Great game still. Um, and a lot that I have to uh, need to experience on it. And then we also have um, Yakuza 5. So for Yakuza 5 on the PS3, um, we actually almost did not get this game, period. Um, but Sega did, I, I think some type of, um, they did like a poll. I don't know if it was on Facebook or Twitter or where it was, but... Um, asking its fans what they wanted to see released, and there was an overwhelming response of Yakuza 5. Now, we didn't get the physical copy here, unfortunately. We only got it digitally. Um, you know, once I started getting into the Yakuza games, I did download it digitally, and the PS3 storefront was a little... I, I know it's it's old, and, you know, I don't want to see it shut down, but it's very laggy, um, and it's been like that for a while, but... But yeah, we did, we did get it here stateside on the PS3 just digitally. Um, thankfully, with the remaster collection, we now have this physical. Um, and the limited edition that I actually got, um, if you go back through my videos, I did an unboxing of it. They actually did have a PS3 case for Yakuza 5. Now, obviously, there was no disc in it. Um, but it was still nice to have since we never did get that. Now, this one, I don't know if I would say that we kind of got this because we did, but this is the Yakuza 1 and 2 HD edition. Now, these are, these are not the Kiwami remakes. These are just HD upscalings of the PS2 games of Yakuza 1 and 2. So, obviously, we did get the PS2 versions of this, but we did not get this HD collection, which is a shame in my opinion. This would have been pretty cool, I think. And I, th I think it would have sold decently. You know, maybe not a bestseller, but I think it would have sold decently. But yeah, really all it is is just an HD um, HD upgrade for those old PS2 titles. So um, very cool. You know, I'm probably not really going to play this at all, but it is still nice to have in my collection. I got that like dirt cheap too. So that was pretty nice. All right. Now we're going to move on to games that we did not get at all. Um, now these two PSP titles, um, these are very much um a spinoff now there's no cosmic here you in any of these um this is your main protagonist here um and also here um now this works more almost and almost is like a street fighter-esque or streets of rage-esque type of game um it's very linear um you know still has a semi-open world but um even by psp standards it wasn't really that great. Um, I did play this one a bit. I haven't gotten to this one yet. Um, but it definitely, and the cutscenes are still images. There's really not uh, much in the way of that. So, um, you know, it's on the PSP, uh, more or less. So it's decent. Not my, not my favorite thing ever, but maybe I would like it better if I understood more Japanese, but, uh, maybe one, uh, one of these days I'm working on it. One of these days. Alrighty, so, and the next one we have here, this is not really Yakuza, um, this is Ryoga Gotoku Kenzan, or Like a Dragon Kenzan. I'm not sure what Kenzan means, if anyone knows, let me know. Um, 
but this is more of like a samurai-esque type of game. Um, this takes place, I want to say this is in the 16th or 17th century. Um, and uh, it's it, these are all uh, Yakuza, you know, the Yakuza um, protagonists and reoccurring characters. Um, but however, this, it's not Kazuma. He doesn't go by Kazuma Kiryu. Um, it's, this is a story of Miyamoto Musashi. Now, I don't know much about him. I might do a little research, maybe leave a link down below, um, for you guys to read, but, um, he was a prolific figure in Japan. Not as much as the next game I'm going to go over. Um, but it does tell a fictionalized, uh, version of him. Now, there has been calls to have this localized, however, there are some very touchy subjects, especially stateside, that probably would not fly. Um, one of them, there's, I want to say, there's things, um, I haven't gotten that far in this game, but there are probably some things here that might make people uncomfortable, so... Um, like there's no, I don't believe there's any nudity in here. Um, but there are some things that would definitely have to be heavily edited, um, for it to be getting released, uh, locally. But what I played of it though is decent. Um, graphics do leave a little bit to be desired, but it's a very early PS3 release. I think this might've been a launch title over there. Um, but hard to say. So, all right, now... The last one I want to show here did get a PS3 and 4 release, and this is the exception because a couple months ago we did get a, no, um, an announcement from Sega that this game is finally getting localized, and this is Ryoga Gotoku Ishin, or Like a Dragon Ishin, and guys, I am so excited to finally get this localized. We're getting it in February. I should have recorded my reaction to when they made this announcement because I I was crying like I had it, it was just I was an emotional wreck but at the same time it was hilarious I should have recorded my reaction to this um because we have been waiting for this for so long now this was a launch title on the PS4 um it was even in some launch trailers over in Japan and of course it did get a PS3 release uh which is pretty cool you know for people that didn't quite uh weren't quite ready to transition to the PS4 Oh my gosh, guys, such a great game. And the only reason this really isn't my favorite is because I can't understand the dialogue. This might replace Yakuza Zero. We'll see. I love the combat in this. Oh my gosh, guys, 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 guys. I'm gushing over this right now. Um, <laughs> oh my word. Okay, so it kind of um, follows the same formula as Kenzon. So you have the um, characters from the Yakuza games, um, of course, not reprising their usual roles. These are all fictionalized characters. Um, so let's see here. I do want to look at something here. All right. Yep. So this actually even comes with a manual too, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so in this, in the case of Yakuza Ishin, so Kazuma Kiryu plays the role of Sakamoto Ryoma. Now, I know a little bit more about him, but again, he's also is, his story is actually very well known in Japan. Um most most people at least know some of his history. Maybe not a broad understanding, but they do know some of his history. Um, he was actually one of the, um, I guess you could call primary figures or one of the primary people um, who at that time, because Japan was in, in shambles, so this was back in the um, mid-19th century. Um, so he was one of the people that were uh, responsible for um, getting the emperor back into power, and getting Japan reunited under a single ruling system because it, it was a lot of division in Japan at that time. And they also brought, um, got Japan modernized. So, you know, brought them into, um, up to par with other nations, um, opened up trade and everything like that. So he did a lot of work. Now he was assassinated at a very young age. Um, he was in his thirties, I want to say 31, 32 years old. So very young, um, but his story is actually really interesting. Again, I'm going to see if I can find some information and link it down below. Um, same with uh, Miyamoto Musashi. So we all kind of have an understanding of their history. So, but yeah, guys, um, this comes out in February. I am definitely going to live stream, um, at least in part. But I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Um, I got it. 
digitally just in case I can't get a physical copy day one. So it's preloaded on my PS5 and I guess we'll start installing, you know, once we get a little closer, but I'm excited. So, you know, and uh, it's gotta have the updated graphics into 4K for the PS5. I'm guessing in Japan, they're probably not gonna get a PS4 re-release. It's most likely just gonna be a PS5 exclusive over there because they do have this version and it runs pretty well, you know, for being an early PS4 title. But, but yeah, all right guys, so those are the Yakuza games with the one exception that we never got stateside. Maybe we'll see some of these down the road, hard to say, but I enjoyed making this video and I hopefully you guys enjoyed me just rambling on about one of my favorite series of all time. So, um, and if you did always, as always, leave a like and comment down below and subscribe if you wish and just always remember that Jesus loves you. I love you too. Do you know I once was lost? until he saved me. So I'm, I, I don't, I don't, you know, wear shirts like this very often, but sometimes, sometimes it's good to show a message to people when you're out and about. So I was lost until Jesus saved me and he can save you too. All right, guys, listen, you all stay safe and have a great day.